Even at the retopology stage, you already have to start thinking about how you're going to unwrap your model. With clean topology and continuous edge loops, it's going to be much faster and much easier. The other thing can help you if you only unwrap half of it. Normally that's the case with my sculpts, but it's a very common thing in games. Where I normally put the seams is in the crevices, 90 degree angles to help with normal map baking, or away from the viewer's eye. If you have a UV island which is really long or just a strange shape, just cut it up and that will make it much more efficient and easier to pack. Okay, first I'm going to split up this part into two and then maybe separate the whole neck area so that it's all the pieces are separated more or less by logic. Um, this ear here is going to cause us some issues because there's like 90 degree angles especially these ones here tend to create more problems when it comes to baking a normal map so we need to separate here the uvs and then on the outer side as well when you have 90 degree angles also tends to generate a lot of errors actually this one here is better okay these inner sides are not so problematic but the outer sides definitely tend to um, cause trouble. This plane here I might as well separate it as a whole piece because it's not going to be very visible so I can just help myself to have better stretching like not better stretching but better distribution of the polygons and less stretching for this side and then we're gonna get rid of this one. Here another one 90 degree angle on the top so to avoid the distortion, we're just going to separate this island away. And then the bottom part also is not that important. So we can just separate that out. Click here or here. If you have clean loops, it's very easy to unwrap very quick. The hand is a separate piece. It's not a part of the body, so it's definitely going to have a lot of stretching. You can see it here in the UVs. Um, so let's get this out of the way as a separate UV island. Okay, that's it. And then we're going to have to cut a few times more the arm. Let's see. Yep, more or less the other parts are equally stretched. When you're not seeing any red or blue uh, parts on your UV islands, it means that it's quite well stretched. We have some stretching over here, but that's not really a problem for me. It looks like all the quads are pretty straight. So what I'm looking here, let's say that this is gonna be the main camera angle. So I'm thinking, how can I put the UV seams a little bit away from the, um, from the viewer's eye, right? So here it's gonna be visible in this side. So let's try over here maybe. And then we continue to this side. And if the camera angle is over here or over here, the UV seams are not very visible. Anyways, nowadays with uh, Substance Painter or 3D Code, you can just paint over the seams. So even that, it's not really a problem. And that's it. Unwrapping. Let's unwrap here. Yep. Unwrapping was pretty smooth with this mesh.